Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to today's Shiba update for 6th of November Saturday and I think you, you guys are doing good out there you know and uh, yeah it's it's been a very very confusing ride for Shib as well and uh, for those who don't know the YouTube name you can go and search for Adam Coins I'm gonna show you how the channel looks like this is how the channel looks like okay you, you're gonna see um, a very very small number but quality subscribers right there okay and some very very quality content in here as well you can you can come in and you can watch an update on your favorite coin as well i'm doing updates on solana dodge uh, ship uh, uh, so many different coins and bitcoin on a daily basis okay now uh, let's talk about ship and uh, what what did ship do why did it have a pullback now uh, yesterday, I did realize there's something that I did a huge, huge mistake about, and I want to talk about it right now because um, when I was drawing the trend line, right, I took the wicks. I was taking the wicks from the top like this to the bottom. Yeah, and if you consider that, that actually does take you down to 3,500, okay? That takes you down to 3,500. But equally, if you try to take this triangle right here from there to there, you can already see that we kind of met the target as well. Do you see this? Could SHIB actually start rolling back towards the upside? That has yet to be seen, okay? That has yet to be seen. But I still remain uh, bearish uh, a little bit right now because... Uh, the, but this, the, there is one good news. We are bouncing off the 20 as well. We did bounce off the 20. The 55 is there. And lo I'm going to go logically with you here, okay? Until now, I'm not taking any trades and I'm sitting on the sideline at the moment and I'm still watching what it's doing okay I'm still watching it I have I did close my trade right there and I'm gonna tell you when I'm gonna get bullish and I'm gonna say hey we're not gonna go down here I do still think we're gonna go down there okay um, but there's something I want to tell you on the four hour. I'm gonna switch quickly switch myself onto the four hour time frame as well and I'm gonna zoom out of here just like that and look um, you might think, uh, oh no, my gosh, Sh SHIB is moving towards the upside, it's going, yay, you, you're getting excited, it's going here, look at that huge pump, almost 20-30% pump, what, what was this price uh, percentage there, look, 40% pump from there, wow, really amazing, really amazing, I mean, I didn't think of making this uh, uh, entry here, I mean, I, I kind of feel bad I didn't take that entry, but the thing is, um, we're not out of the woods yet. We're not out of the woods yet, okay? Why do I say this? Because when you have a descending triangle like this, when you're moving up and down in a descending triangle, this is very normal when you break down, you come back for the retest to get rejected to move towards the downside. And you might really call this an ABC correction. If you just, uh, uh, so if, I want, if I'm gonna zoom out like that, and, and you break out of certain level, you, you might go for a relief rally this is this this is known as a relief just to dump even further more and the and the and the third correction i'm going to show you this a the b and then the c the c is much more bigger than the a do you understand that then you start to form a a a, a bigger abc correction and and of course i want to show you one image as well i was researching about the descending triangles and right now this is the same triangle as i draw here or for the ship as well okay this is absolutely the same concepts okay and when and according to this triangle when you break down it's very normal to have that small do you see a small pull towards the upside to retest that that uh, uh, support which turned into resistance when you get rejected out of there then it normally goes down okay now this is logic and logic implemented this is absolutely the same scenario you did came down i mean you're pulling just back up to get rejected again do you see this you never even came inside the triangle i'm gonna zoom in here for you to see the, it did try to get above the next candle for the retest failed and look at this we're already making a bearish pattern to go towards the downside yes this is a bearish pattern do you see this this is almost a bearish engulfing candle okay if you want to search for bearish engulfing candle we can uh, do that you can right here on the google bearish candlestick patterns no bearish engulfing just like that and i'm gonna click here or any other image i can see uh for example, for example, which one can I show you here? 
yeah, let's say something like this, okay? You you nearly have this the green candle and then the red candle as well, okay? So so you see that the green candle and then the red candle, and what happens next is 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 bloodbath okay do you see the red candles keep continue continuous red candles so do expect today uh today uh, for today's update yeah uh from the time i'm recording i do think we're still gonna continue to roll over towards the downside not a financial advice but i'm not buying anything i'm gonna tell you the flip flip side of the coin and when i'm going to become bullish with with shiba okay now considering the fact that this is your top at the moment and your bottom right there okay recent uh you know corrective wave right there you can already see we came up and we got rejected at the 0 0.5 okay and that's not a good thing that's that's not a good thing you're being rejected at the 0 0.5 maybe find support at the 5633 6, levels okay but for me to to say that i want to take an entry i want to take an entry first of all cross this descending triangle do you see this descending triangle that one gets crossed and from here also you want to cross i want to see the 0 0.61 being crossed which is the blue line which i'm drawing okay when you cross that and you back test as well and you hold it you hold it here and then you can continue towards the upside then you're on a journey to to 13,000 as well okay then you're gonna go there you are gonna go there but if on only if i repeat i'm gonna turn bullish if we hold this level you might even see something like this oh we came up we passed the 0 0.618 and then you fail to hold the support and you can even continue with a further dump as well okay so that's it for today's shape update i do i do i do still think we're gonna move towards the downside and this is just some sort of uh you know like an ABC correction that is going to go and there's 21 uh, variations of an ABC corrections you can just come out to Google as well and you can write in here ABC correction yeah I do like this website here it, it, it does have a corrective wave and you can see one of those corrective waves looks like this I'm going to show you a zigzag like this do you see a the B and then the C is much more deeper do you see that I do think it's going to do the same thing the a the b and then the c is much more deeper do you see that i do think we're just on a corrective wave at the moment and as well um, we we were back testing the the descending triangle you see you broke out of the descending triangle came back you're already finding rejection and i do think you're gonna roll down the market bullish scenario still because this is crypto you never know what happens you cross the 7717 hold it then you can continue to the 13,000. and i'm gonna give an update if if anything becomes bullish but at the moment i'm not taking any trades okay so i'm gonna see you tomorrow with a new uh, video update allah hafiz